Hi everybody, this is Joel Kennedy with Kennedy Violins. So today we're just going to do a short video on how to replace a fine tuner on your violin, viola, or cello. Okay, so there's a lot of reasons why you might want to do it. Maybe your fine tuner is broken, or maybe you're just tired of it, you want a shiny new thing, or maybe you want one that works better, or more commonly, you want to replace your loop end fine tuner on your E with a ball end or vice versa, right? It's pretty common. So today we're just going to be replacing the fine tuner on my violin on the E side. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is loosen the string so the ball end or loop end comes out of the fine tuner. Now, now you don't have to take the string out of the peg. You just want to loosen the peg just enough and keep tension on the string. Loosen the peg just enough so that that makes it so you can take this ball out right here. Now, if you loosen it too much, and that string pops out of the peg, don't worry, it's not a big deal. You can put the string back in the peg and then wind it on and then do the process again. It kind of sucks, it's a little bit annoying, but if you have to, it's not a really a big deal. Okay, but you see I'm keeping some tension on this string so it doesn't pop out of the, the peg. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just pull this main screw out. Remember, uh, clock that's counterclockwise, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So I'm just gonna turn that counterclockwise and that removes that, pretty easy. Then the next thing I'm going to, going to want to do is, is uh, remove this main nut right here. Now, if this is too tight, you can just use you know, a pair of pliers like this and you can just loosen it just a little bit and usually that's enough where you can just uh, loosen that nut. Now, usually it's just finger tight, but if it's not, like I say, you can use a pair of pliers, but you have to be careful because if you turn it the wrong direction, remember it's counterclockwise. If you turn it the wrong direction, you could get it too tight and you could break your tailpiece. Okay, so now that I got that nut loose, now I'm going to push this through. But one thing you can do to make it a little bit easier so you don't scratch your violin with the fine tuner is just move it up a little bit. See how I'm tilting that? You tilt it up a little bit and then that just comes right out really easy. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my other fine tuner it actually looks like it's the same exact one, doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I'm just gonna lift that again and then push it through the hole. Now I'm gonna get that main screw or main nut. Now I'm gonna turn it clockwise. Remember righty tighty, right? And get it as finger tight as you can. Now, if you don't have especially strong fingers, you just wanna make sure it's really tight, you can use the pliers, but be very careful. If you get it too tight, you can crack this tailpiece. So you don't want to go more than like a quarter turn. That's about it. That's all that's necessary. Okay, so let's get this a little tighter. And once you get it finger tight, then about a quarter turn, and that's about it. You don't really need to get any tighter than that. Okay, so now we're gonna take this ball end here and we're gonna stick it in the end. That looks like I gotta loosen the peg a little tiny bit. And then I just slip it in there. Okay, now we're going to tighten that string. Now remember, and I've talked about this a fair amount, you wanna make sure when you're putting your strings on, and I have other videos that go into more detail, you wanna make sure that you're pushing that peg in while you turn it. Push the peg in while you turn it. The more you push it in, the tighter the peg will be. What we're trying to do is prevent the peg from slipping once you get the string to pitch. The other really important thing is you want to force that string to wind against the sides of that scroll box, right? So here's the peg you're turning, here's the scroll box. We want that string to wind against the sides of the scroll box. That will create a wedge effect and prevent that string from unwinding or prevent the peg from slipping. Okay, so now I've got that. Now I'm gonna check back down here. I'm gonna make sure that string is on the bridge. Now you might have a bridge that has a little plastic insert. If you do, then you gotta make sure it's, it's in that notch in the bridge. Okay, so now we're gonna let go of that string. Okay, so now we got it to pitch. So now what we're gonna wanna do is take that main string or that main screw and we're gonna put it in. Now, if we just let it sit there, it's gonna gonna buzz and rattle. So we've got to turn that at least as much to get it, put a little bit of tension on it. There it is right there, it grabs. Now 
it doesn't buzz. And if you can, you want to put your fine tuner in so that screw is in the uppermost position because now you've got all those threads in order to tighten that E in future tunings. So guys, if you have any questions or comments about this particular video, feel free to go ahead and, you know, ask me questions on this video. I, I answer just about all the, the uh, questions that people have. Of course, you can uh, call Kennedy Violins, contact us. We're always happy to help. And uh, if you got any ideas for new videos, you know, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video for the YouTube algorithm. And that's about it for today. So I bid you adieu and happy practicing.